Thank you for watching videos by FamilyTravelPhotos.com. In this episode, I'll introduce you to UAV Pilot, a flight simulator program that allows you to learn what to do to fly your Q500 safely, and what not to do as well. This episode is part of a series of videos designed to help you fly safely and successfully with your Q500 quadcopter. This episode applies to owners of the Q500, Q500 Plus, Q500 4K, and Typhoon G drones. Let's get started with Episode 6, UAV Pilot Flight Simulator. UAV Pilot is a flight simulator program created by Unique specifically for their Q500 series quadcopters. I was amazed when I saw its sample video captures and I knew that I had to review the program as part of my series of videos for new Unique Q500 pilots. The UAV Pilot program is free, but to use it you must purchase a Unique UAV Pilot Simulator Wi-Fi USB stick, which runs $25 to $35. You'll find links for the USB stick in the software below. Setting up the simulator is pretty easy. I'll post a link below to a simple training video that walks you through the process. Like I said before, I thought the graphics for UAV Pilot were incredible. However, while graphics are important, UAV Pilot needed to recreate the actual flying behavior of the Q500 for it to be worthwhile. It needs to give you a real Q500 flying experience if it has any value as a training tool. UAV Pilot succeeds in this challenge. The first thing to point out, and the best aspect of this simulator, is that it uses your ST10 Plus transmitter. No fake controller or keyboard controls. You actually use your transmitter, which means you're getting the best real flying experience possible. A graphic of your transmitter appears on the bottom of the screen. Any button pushes or stick motions you do will appear on that screen transmitter. Beginners will find this helpful. To test out UAV Pilot, I recreated my first flight from Episode 3 of my Q500 video series, and I was able to perform almost every step of that flight. You can take off, hover, and test indicator lights. Practice your left stick and right stick motions. And then use both sticks together. You can fly in rabbit and turtle speed settings. You can demonstrate how the aircraft flies differently when you fly in angle or smart modes. You can even see how the aircraft flies when you turn on Watch Me. The details built into this program are impressive. When flying in smart mode, the smart circle is incorporated into the simulation, so you can't fly too close to yourself. Switch to angle mode and you can fly right over your head, just as in real life. The simulation experience extends to your actual transmitter as well. If you look at your transmitter, you'll see that it shows you have 12 satellites for the aircraft and that follow me is enabled. You start with a full charge on your flight battery. As you fly, you will see your simulated flight battery charge decrease, just as it does in real flights. Your transmitter will show your simulated flying speed and altitude during the flight, but does not show distance from the transmitter. 
The program offers a few setting changes. For example, you can pick the Q500 Plus or the Q500 4K. You can also increase wind speed to practice flying in different conditions. The menus offer the option to change scenery, but there is only one choice right now. Maybe they'll come out with more settings to fly in, and that would be great. I'd love to see different flying environments, perhaps some with buildings or other obstacles to practice around. The real Q500 is actually very difficult to crash, but it can be done, and the same holds true for the UAV pilot. You can fly into trees or the buildings off to your side, You can even run it into yourself. You can also see what happens if you come down to the ground while moving horizontally. As you can see here, the Q500 flips over if you're flying forward as you land. You'll want to practice coming straight down for landings, or you can practice using return to home. There are a few things you can't do in UAV Pilot. You don't move around in the simulation, so you can't test follow me. If you know how to walk, you probably don't need to practice that on a simulator. More importantly, looking at the transmitter, you'll find no first person view, so you can't adjust your gimbal or simulate taking photos or video. I would love to see a camera view so I could practice maneuvering the aircraft to create more complicated shots or to fly using FPV capabilities. I know there is a lag and you can't use the Q500 to fly FPV seriously, but there are many instances where you will use that view to fine tune your aircraft's positioning. Being able to see the camera's perspective would make UAV Pilot a valuable training system for advanced pilots as well as beginners. These were the only limitations I discovered with UAV Pilot. The program allows you to practice almost any aspect of the Q500 platform from the safety of your computer screen. Most important, the behavior of the simulated aircraft is extremely close to the real Q500. Unique has done a great job recreating the actual flight behavior of the Q500 in this simulation. UAV Pilot gives you a real flying experience, making it an excellent and inexpensive tool for learning to fly. I wish I had this program when I got started. If you're a new Q500 pilot, I would strongly encourage you to get UAV Pilot and learn the basics on it. Learn your stick controls and get your accidents over with in a simulator rather than out in the field. Trust me, when you crash in real life, your Q500 doesn't simply reset itself for another flight. This concludes episode 6 of my video series for unique Q500 owners. I hope you found this video to be helpful. I've posted other videos that are linked below. Be sure to click those links to learn more about flying your drone. It's easy for you to support my channel by hitting the like button below. It's free and it improves my video's rankings. It also helps my rankings if you subscribe. And if you do so, you'll be notified when I release more videos in the future. Got any questions or ideas for future videos? Your feedback in the comments section below is greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.